all of it, for just 50 cents a day. Two quarters. We're not the only fans of Simply Safe. U.S. News and World Report named Simply Safe, quote, the best overall home security of 2020. It's pretty good. Right now, when you head to simplysafe.com slash sportswars, you'll get free shipping and a 60-day risk-free trial. That's simplysafe.com slash sportswars to make sure they know that it's our show who sent you. From Simply Safe and all of us here at Sports Wars, we wish you safety and good health. Hi, I'm Virginia Madsen, host of Wondery's show, Imagined Life. Each week, we take you on an immersive journey into the life of someone you may think you know, before the whole world knew their name. There will be clues to your identity along the way, but only at the end do you find out who you are. This week, The Exile. Imagine. You've lost subscribe for a two-stroke lead. The crowd at Augusta National is loving it. And while Tiger's expression remains serious and focused, on the inside, his emotions are swelling as the applause grows. The hero's reception that he's receiving feels like a long-awaited release. For a crowd that last watched him slip on the green jacket as Masters champ, 14 years ago. It also feels like gratitude for the way Tiger has transported them back to that golden era, if only for a weekend. It was a gift that he wanted to give his kids, but as Tiger watches thousands of fans rise to their feet, he realizes it's even bigger than that. Once again, he's having an effect on the entire field. And that's not just his ego doing the talking. In November 2007, a UC Berkeley economist named Jennifer Brown published a study concerning the, quote, superstar effect. The study examined Tiger's scores from 1999 through 2006 in comparison to the PGA Tour field and found that his competitors scored almost one stroke worse when playing against him than in tournaments he didn't enter. Brown's study was confirmed and given an alternate title the Tiger Woods effect. Now, almost two full decades removed from the height of the Tiger Woods effect era, it's happening. Again. Through the first 11 holes, Tiger kept Francesco Molinari within striking distance. But on 12, Tiger noticed the cracks beginning to show. While waiting for the group in front of them to clear the green, Tiger watched Molinari go over yardages with his caddy. He was impatient to get on the tee, but hesitant to be the first in the group to test the swirling winds above the 12th hole. And ultimately, the Italian didn't take enough club. Molinari's tee shot landed on an embankment in front of the green and rolled into Ray's Creek. Just the opening Tiger was waiting for. He stepped up next and stuck his tee shot right in the middle of the green. After Molinari finished out with a double bogey, Tiger was left with a short but tricky putt for par. Remembering the way his round ended on Friday, he struck it true. Uh, hit it firm too. The crowd let out its loudest cheer of the day as the putt dropped. Tiger was now tied for the lead. Then the 15th hole rolled around, and the Tiger Woods effect fully set in. Tiger watched as Molinari unraveled a little bit more with each shot. A drive that went too far right and hit a tree, landing in pine straw. A poor punch out that rolled through the fairway and into the rough on the left side. And finally, a wedge that hit a tree branch and dropped into the pond right in front of the 15th green. Drives on this 9, 12, 15. That's one bogey for the first 54 holes. I said Tiger was going to hunt them down like a, like a marathon, was that? Finishing with another double bogey, Molinari's collapse was complete. And Tiger's birdie meant that for the 